In this lecture, let's learn how we can group some of the form controls together in a reactive form. So currently, all these form controls are part of a single form group, which is representing this complete form. So in this form group, we have this controls property. And in that controls property, you can see all the form controls which we have in this form. Now, what we want is we want to group some of the form controls together. For example, in this form, we have some form controls related to address. For example, the street address, country, city, region, and postal code. So I want to group these form controls together into a form group. And I want to call that form group address. Let's see how we can do that. So in a reactive form, we can group form controls together using three simple steps. In the first step, let's go to appcomponent.ts. There, we are creating a form group. We are calling it reactive form. In that form group, we have all these form controls. Now, I want to group some of the form controls together. So basically, I want to group the street, country, city, region, and postal code form controls together. For that, after this gender property, I'm going to create a new property. I'll call it address. And this property is going to be of type form group. All these form controls are of type form control. But here we are creating a form group. So this address property it is going to store a form group. And to this address property, in order to assign a form group, we need to create an instance of form group class. For that, we can use this new keyword. And after that, we can call the constructor of form group. And to this constructor, again, we need to pass an object like this. And inside this object, we can create other form controls. So inside this form group, we want to have these form controls, the street, country, city, region, and postal code form control. So I'll cut it from here. And let's paste it inside this object, which we are passing to this form group constructor. So now, these form controls are basically part of this address form group. And this address form group, it is a part of reactive form form group. So this is the first step. In the second step, what we need to do is the form controls which we are defining in the HTML. So here we have the address related form groups like street address, city, we have this country drop down, then we also have this region input element and postal code input element. So these form controls should be present inside the address form group. So what we need to do is we need to wrap these form controls inside a container div. And I'm already doing that. So if you see here, we have this div. And inside this div, we have all the address related form controls. So I am already grouping them inside a container element. But if your form controls, which you want to group, it is not present inside a single container, then first you need to create a container and you need to move all the form controls inside that container which you want to group together okay so that will be the second step and in the third step on this container div you need to use a directive called form group name and to this form group name directive you need to assign the form group which you have created so here we have created this address form group okay and this address form group is present inside this reactive form form group so here in the HTML, we have this reactive form form group. You see, we have this reactive form form group. And in that form group, we also have this new form group. And to this form group name, we need to assign that form group name, which we have created. We are calling it address. This is the third step. So if I save the changes now, and if you go to the web page, let me clear everything here and let me enter value for the required fields. Otherwise, the submit button will not be enabled. And now when I click on this submit button, this form group has been logged here. If I expand this form group and if I expand this controls, now you will see that we have a new property called address, which is a form group. And in that form group, we have other controls, which we can see inside this controls property of that address form group. So if I expand this controls property now, there we have the city, country, postal, region, and street form controls. 
So in this way, we can group form controls together into a single form group. And also, if I check the value property of this form group, which is at the top, which is representing our form. So we have that value property here. So if I expand this value property now, there you will see we have first name, last name, username, gender, and email form controls and their values which we have entered. And then we have this address property. And in that address property, we have other form controls like city, country, postal, region, and street. So now in order to read the value of these form controls, this street, city, country, region, and postal code form control, first, we will have to access the value property of this form group. In that value property, we will have to access the address property. And from that address property, we can read the value of these form controls. Okay. Now let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and let's add the required validator on this street address, this city, country, and postal code. For that, let's go to VS Code and let's go to appcomponent.ts. And now to this one, we are going to make it required field. For that, we need to use validators. And on that validators, we have the required validator. Let's do the same thing for country, city, and postal code. So here also, we will use the required validator. And on the postal code also, we will use the required validator. Okay, so let's say city and region is not required. It is optional. With this, let's save the changes. And now what we want is, we also want to display an error message if the user does not provide a valid value in the street, country, and postal code field. So let's go to appcomponent.html and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this small element from here, this small HTML and let's add it on street1 address. So here we are displaying the street address. After that, I'm going to add this small element and there let's say street is a required field. And we want to show this error message only when the street form control is invalid and if it is touched. So to this get method, we need to pass the name of the form control. Now, if I simply pass street here, which is the name of the form control like this and here also. So if I go back to appcomponent.ts, the name of the form control is street and we are passing it to this get method. If I save the changes now and if we go to the web page, you will notice that we have an error and it says cannot read properties of null when we are trying to read this invalid property. So for some reason, this expression here, it is returning null. Now it is returning null because this street property is no more present inside the value property of the top form group. So this reactive form, it will have a value property. And in that value property, you see, we do not have any street property, right? That street property is present inside this address property now. So in order to access this street property, we need to access it on this address property of this reactive form form group. So here, instead of saying street, we need to say address dot street. So address is an object which is a property of the value object and in that address we have the street property here also we need to do the same thing address dot street now if i save the changes and if you go to the web page now that error is gone and if i click inside the street address and if i do not enter any value you will see this error message street address is a required field let's do the same thing for postal code and country So I'll copy this HTML from here and let's add it after this drop down. And here let's say country is a required field. And here we need to pass the form control name. So it will be address dot country. And here also it should be address dot country. 
and let's do the same thing for postal code as well so here we are displaying the postal code after that let's add this small element and here let's say address dot postal so the name of the form control is postal same thing let's do here let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now if i click inside this postal code and if i don't enter any value you will see that we have this error message street address is a required field but if i enter a valid value inside this then that error is gone so let's enter some details in these fields and now when i click on this submit button this form group has been logged if i expand this and if i go to the value property of this form group so here we have the value property there you will see all the values have been assigned and for the address if i expand this address property there city country postal code region and street has been assigned okay so this is how we can group some of the form controls together in a reactive form